celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain always had strong views on food. His passion took him to many places around the world as he dived into different cultures and explored them through exotic food items. He also cautioned against ordering swordfish in restaurants. Here's why. According to The Travel, Anthony Bourdain was very wary of swordfish, despite the fact that it is often found on menus at many fine dining restaurants and is considered to be a popular food item. According to Bourdain, it is easy to get sick from eating swordfish because all swordfish have a certain kind of bacteria. If this is your first time hearing this, you are not alone. Bourdain said that if the chef preparing your dish does not fillet the fish correctly, you are likely to feel really unwell and maybe even have to spend some time recuperating. Bourdain wrote about swordfish in his book Kitchen Confidential and explained, My seafood when he goes out to dinner, won't eat it. He's seen too many of those three-foot-long parasitic worms that riddle the fish's flesh. You see a few of these babies, and we all do, and you won't be tucking into swordfish anytime soon. Yikes. Definitely something to keep in mind. Guess it's wiser to be safe than sorry, huh? When it came to food, Anthony Bourdain didn't believe in holding back. At all. He had several thoughts on making dining out a more rewardable experience. As the BBC notes, Bourdain had been skeptical about other foods in the past, not just swordfish, though. He had also advised diners to be cautious while going for a well-done steak anywhere in the world, regardless of the restaurant's quality. Anthony Bourdain said, People who order their meat well done perform a valuable service for those of us in the business who are cost-conscious. They pay for the privilege of eating our garbage. Basically, it is quite likely that you may not end up feasting on high-quality meat if you go down the well-done route, something to definitely think about for sure. He also said something quite unexpected. Do not judge the quality of a restaurant's food by its bathrooms. They may or may not be clean, and that is all right. As the chef said, some of the best meals he devoured happened to be inside eateries with mediocre restrooms, proving that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. These restaurants knew that the quality of their delicious food would keep their customers hooked. And as far as Bourdain was concerned, that's a valid point. Another nugget of wisdom from the chef? Something that we could all definitely actively try to do while traveling. He said that you should always pay close attention to where the locals go when they're searching for a scrumptious, satisfying meal. When in Rome, do as the Romans, right? Bourdain was basically saying that it's good to leave your comfort zone behind and sit at a restaurant where there aren't glossy pictures of the food or fancy menus. All you'll see is plenty of locals enjoying the food. What is it that you really like to do? Eat. According to a CNBC piece, Anthony Bourdain was a big supporter of restaurants that chose to go down the simple route. He explained, My favorite restaurants are ones where they only do two or three things. Basically, he wanted to get the vibe that the eatery he was dining at really knew what it was doing, and its chefs had mastered what they were serving their guests. Bourdain further added, If they have a menu that's all over the place, if they have a hamburger or Asian fusion and it's not in Asia, these are all worrisome to me. Anthony Bourdain also advised his fans to not be afraid of experimentation. Honestly, good advice for life in general, don't you think? Try new things. He felt that trying something new every now and then would help most people in many ways and allow them to develop their taste buds. According to CNBC, he said, Without experimentation, a willingness to ask questions and try new things, we shall surely become static, repetitive, and moribund. Of course, when it comes to experimentation, Bourdain was happy to skip the swordfish, and we don't blame him. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite TV chefs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!